Hello, Randall Fly here. Okay, it's uh, March 28th, I don't know, 4 p.m. or such. Uh, since I finished working on all of the framing, now it's back to the floor. I've leveled all the joists here with these sisters, except for the far, the end uh, joist there next to the load-bearing wall formerly the exterior wall of the house. That needs to be leveled or shimmed really. But the problem is now is I'm back to the toilet rough and now we're going to be putting in this corner right there a 90 degree angle toilet for space reasons. So we'll have more room for the toilet along with a full size sink which will go sorry right there with this excessive stub out which is now in the way. So, what I need to do, subsequently since I did the rough-in last, uh, really last August, I guess it was, or September, sad to say, um, since I hard glued the uh, elbow with a coupler over there, I subsequently realized that the toilet tank wants to be more the toilet tank wants to be away from the wall, a little bit of offset, maybe a quarter of an inch, I don't know, probably a quarter, because you want air to get behind it and you don't want the toilet tank to touch the drywall uh, and cause rot, especially in the summer when the toilet tank sweats due to the high ambient humidity. So what to do? Okay, well I thought about it and I thought, well, okay, I'd like to you know move this rough in you have the uh, the X and the Y axis here now here's the corner right there and then it's not on a 45 this emerges from the soil the main stack uh, offset from the from the 40 corner so it's not on a 45 so if you move this this guy straight out this way you get different values of uh, increasing offset on this side and this side because it's not on a 45. It's not an A squared. Uh, well, it, well, not no, it's not Pythagorean. Pythagoras's theorem, but or maybe it is. I can't remember. So what I did was I cut the coupling off and I squared up the joint and I got a slip fitting today, a three-inch Fernco. Put uh, palm olive all over everything. I uh, primed up this joint here. Uh, unfortunately, I ran the prime. I have two, three cans of primer and one can of glue, and the glue over the winter uh, hardened up on me. So, so now I got to buy. Actually, no, I have two cans of pri uh, primer. So now I got to buy another set of primer and glue. So I'll have three cans of primer, uh, one half filled, one seven eighths filled, and the other fully brand new, with one can of glue. So when I'm done with this, I'll probably pawn it off on my friend Billy Adams, or not pawn it actually, just um, excuse me, just uh, you know, just give it to him as you know, payment for all the advice he's given me. So what I did here was um, okay. So we got Fernco, 5.5 inch length of pipe. We got a male female. Uh, I think it's a street adapter, is what it's called. And then I got my toilet ring here which I've been using to seal the sewer gases up through the winter. I finally punched the hole out. And now, if we do this, okay, you can hear the water running. Mom's running the kitchen sink downstairs. Okay, so here is three quarter inch oriented strand board that I'm using for rough flooring while I do my work. I think I'm gonna buy more three quarter inch OSB or three quarter inch ply. Uh, for the strength and so the flaw won't bounce. I know I've heard you can get five eighths or half. If I got the thinner the thinner boards then I probably would feel like I want to do more blocking, you know, putting in uh putting in two by four blocks here to hold it up. But I think three by four with a tongue and groove down the middle would be uh three 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 quarter inch OSB with a tongue and groove joint right around down the middle would be okay. And then uh I have no idea what my finished floor height would be. Uh, three quarter inch, say this is three quarter inch, so then we've got a uh, thin set uh, radiant, electric radiant floor wire, and then then Curdy, Schluter Curdy um, um, crack, isolation, crack isolation membrane. 
Then the tile. How thick is the tile? I think it's like a quarter inch thick. I don't know. Four tile tends not to be very thick. So we got about so three quarter plus quarter inch for the tile. Add another quarter inch for the electric, which I've heard doesn't take much. Uh, so that's like what? That's inch and change, one inch and change. So I'm worried right here about my clearance for the toilet ring. I just, uh, for those of you knowledgeable in this, if you're watching this, just let me know. I definitely got more than an inch here. And then if you look in here, you know, there's, because uh, these joints are tapered in here. I guess what you just fill them up with glue so they seal. That's my worry right now. So I mean, figure it somewhere like right here. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of sleeve to sleeve connection, and it's kind of wobbly. I'm just worried about that because I know it's got to be this elbow's got to be male to female because if you put a if you put the female in female to female female to female. Uh, it's even taller. It's like here, and then you'd have to put a have a short uh, nipple of a pipe with a coupler, and then it, it's it's like this is up here. You know, it's like five or six inches off the ground or off the floor. It's just not. It's just not uh, not viable. So any thoughts appreciated. But I think I'm okay here. Required a bit of brain work, but I think I'm okay now, as Red Green would say. Uh, so we'll see what uh, my friend Billy, see what Billy has to say. But I uh, highly recommend using the uh, the palm olive to lubricate the joints. Makes it a lot easier to to put them on and to remove the pipe, the PVC pipe from the fittings um, for dry fitting. Just got to clean up the palm olive uh, or the any kind of lubricant. Clean it up before you glue. But I don't have to glue the Fernco, so. Alrighty, uh, all this floor height, uh, uh, you know, anxiety or whatever is due to the fact over here that we might have to have a transition between uh, the finished, the new bathroom floor and the hallway. That's a uh, three-quarter inch oak floor. They are covered with a padding and a carpet, and none of these original joists. So they're all bowed. They're all flexed in the middle downwards. So it's it's just a huge. Uh, Charlie Foxtrot, you know, CF if you know what I mean. Thank you very much. Randall Flagg here, signing off.